two, one, zero, have ignition and lift off of the Atlas V rocket on the Landsat Data Continuity Mission, continuing the 40-year legacy of deserving Earth's natural resources from space. When I was seven years old, I watched a similar, dramatic, and breathtaking video of a rocket launch carrying powerful satellite on our 24-inch black and white TV, and it gave me goosebumps. I felt I had wings. I was in that rocket, flying high, peeking through clouds, looking down on Earth to see my house, my friend's house, and our playground. Every night I looked up to see beautiful moon and stars and wonder where those satellite-carrying rockets are. My childhood wonder actually led me to teach satellite and analyze satellite data as part of many NASA-sponsored projects, and I love every bit of it. No doubt even today, Kids see satellite with similar curiosity and awe. However, they also hear familiar phrase, this is not rocket science, which is confusing and plants seeds of doubt that satellites are unattainable. They are indeed located hundreds or thousands of kilometers above ground. And when things are out of sight, sometimes they're out of mind. It is difficult to comprehend, but is it really? Earth observation satellites work round the clock in tandem with many satellites launched by different countries and space agencies. They come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from pickup truck to watermelon. Some of the new ones are as small as a cube, weighing less than five pounds and even made of commercial grade parts. No doubt, satellites are amazing. But they also provide a normal stuff which we could use to do many of the great things such as analyzing the data set. Satellites, most of the early ones, and even the new ones, are built using citizens' taxpayer money. So it is important that we play a role of citizen scientist. Unfortunately, until a few years back, it used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to access data. Although the push for open access data is gaining momentum, what is important is to discover the beauty of satellite the supreme engineering and scientific achievements they represent, and above all, Earth's continual coverage of transformative changes they provide. Satellites allow us to imagine that we have wings. We can fly anytime, anywhere, and view the unparalleled beauty of Earth in real time over and over. The truth is, we use satellites for many of our day-to-day -day tasks, and experts use them to document changes on Earth. For example, a recent climate report, which includes satellite data analysis, suggests that we are at the crossroads in our response to climate change, and in fact calls for code red for humanity. This means if Earth continues its current warming trend, we will have limited choice in where we live, what we eat, water that we drink, and the quality of air that we breathe. It also raises a societal question, since drought, flood, or other hazards generally displaces less fortunate and marginalized communities. Our choices are limited, and I wish satellites could be a magic wand, but they are not. What they are is the symbol of human ingenuity and an unprecedented tool that allows us to be time traveler and meticulously reconstruct the past look into the present, and project the future. As a matter of fact, one of the recent satellites launched by the European Space Agency uses digital altimeter to measure sea level. And it combines data with previously launched satellites to reconstruct the sea level changes. Similarly, NASA has launched many satellites to measure, measure temperature and other atmospheric parameters. Satellite-derived information about sea level and atmospheric conditions help, for example, assess the increasing hurricane intensity. We can also reconstruct the growth in urban areas such as Las Vegas, which has dramatically changed in the last few decades. Such change questions future development when its water supply is dependent on a drought-stressed Colorado River. You may not have ever realized it but satellites have become a dominant tool in fighting human rights. 
human rights atrocities are happening worldwide. And some of the massive scale of abuse are happening at places where eyewitness and other watch groups cannot look at it. Especially for those locations, these satellite surveys are present in the sky, documenting anything happening in an open space. For example, in 2017, Myanmar military burned down hundreds of homes, forcing almost a million Rohingya Muslim to flee Myanmar in one of the most brutal recent ethnic cleansings that we have witnessed. Satellite images show a deliberate and organized pattern of burning Rohingya homes while neighboring areas remained untouched. Of course, satellites cannot make policies or decisions for us, but it is certainly a powerful tool for policy and decision makers in their assessment, deployment of resources, and specific action that can hopefully leave Earth better than we found it. The story of Earth observation satellite is fascinating, and we can be part of that story. Imagine when we sit in an airplane, look down on Earth to enjoy the magnificent landscape that planet Earth has to offer. We all become scientists. Now with the help of cloud computing and machine learning, today, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You just need to be curious enough to become a citizen scientist and use free platforms such as Digital Globe or Google Earth Engine or smartphone apps such as Globe Observer or even participate in challenges such as space apps. These modern advances mean that a basic computer or smartphone with an internet connection will let you access and play with millions of images in a matter of minutes. I like to believe that our past has guided us to this point and our future is bright and hopeful. In fact, in the past, here in Dayton, Ohio, the Wright brothers created history by developing the airplane. Currently, there are satellites right above us and probably right at this moment taking pictures of Dayton. That's progress. Satellites are no longer science fiction, but Earth's processes in many ways remain a mystery that can partly be solved by our companion in space, Earth Observation Satellites. <laughs>